It's just over two weeks till Black Friday kicks off the official holiday shopping season. Last year, Americans spent a whopping $57 billion during Thanksgiving weekend. And for many, it led to more debt, higher monthly credit card payments, and even for some, financial ruin. The dark side of the holidays, for sure. So here with some tips on not breaking the bank this season is Steve Seibold, author of How Rich People Think. Hi, Steve. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thanks for having me. So, Steve, let's get right to your advice. First, you recommend allocating a certain amount of money for each person you plan on buying gifts and don't overspend by even a dollar, you say. Absolutely. The holidays are about families getting together and, and celebrating and that type of thing. That's not about material possession. So if it's a lean year this year, spend five or 10 or maybe $20 per person, whatever you can allocate, and make sure you don't go over. Don't let your emotions get into your, your buying and spending habits on gifts. Uh, but you say you can communicate that with your family, right? There's no shame in saying it's going to be a lean year this year. Absolutely. I mean, if it's been a tough economy for all of us, even the even the super rich on Wall Street are having it. You know, it's 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 tougher than it's ever been, and uh, and there's no shame in in, uh, in giving a gift that hey, if you have to make a gift, getting a made gift is a fantastic thing. We've all gotten made gifts from from adults and children, and it's something you never you never sell or give away. It really has more value. And what about credit cards? Your advice is to not even think about using one unless you're 100 percent sure you can comfortably pay it off at the end of the month. Don't use credit cards. Put them in the freezer. <laughs> cut them in half. Put them over with your car, <laughs> unless you can pay it off at the end of the month. I mean, it's a great, it's a great, you know, it's a it's a convenient tool. But you know, there's just nothing like the pain of parting with cold hard cash. Uh, that plastic doesn't seem to uh, invoke the same uh, pain that that you know we've all we've all uh, you know we've all used credit cards. But I use cash if you can, absolutely. Well, you know, people get caught up in the heat of the sales, the Black Friday deals. Do you have any advice on how to just pull back and keep your head? Oh yeah, don't buy these marketing campaigns. Keep in mind when they say thirty percent off, forty percent off. These people are world-class professional marketers. They've built the 30 or 40 percent into the product, into the price, before they ever discounted at 30. You don't really think they're going to lose 30 or 40 percent. <laughs> yeah. These are professionals making money. And uh, Madison Avenue has gotten it down pretty well over the years. So don't fall for the bargains. Those bargains are going to be the, the best time you can buy is after the holidays when, uh, you know, when no one's buying and everyone's returning things. And, of course, you say remind yourself that you'd rather have what would you rather have, the short-term satisfaction of those expensive possessions or the long-term results of financial freedom and abundance, right, Steve? Absolutely. I mean, money, the great thing about having money is it creates freedom. I mean, it's not about buying things, I don't think. It's it's more about having the freedom and the opportunities that, that money gives you. And and the peace of mind, for that matter. I mean, there's nothing like a good night's sleep. And, and you're also, you know, I mean, it's just a, it's a great example for other family members who may not be as disciplined as you with spending. All right, Steve, thanks so much for those tips. Thank you.